So I said what I could send, and she had someone else there that she's working on. So between the two, I'm hoping one of those two will go through. Yeah, this, this is what we do when we ain't got no time to do anything but eat. You said there's a plate. There's a plate in there. <laughs> they put a paper plate? I asked for a paper plate. I, I told the lady, I said, look, you understand something. We ain't got time to sit down and eat in the restaurant. We ain't got time to make it home. <laughs> we ain't got time to make it home. Why we don't have time to make it home? Because I'm hungry. Oh, okay. So I got some, I got some a breast and a thigh. No, uh, uh, thigh in the leg, and it got look. Check this out. Extra hot sauce. That's extra hot. This is bourbon, and this is sweet and sour. Oh my goodness! You got bread. You got to put that thing on a plate. The potato salad's off the hook. Potato salad. You just, you, you just, you just went in. You just went in, didn't you? This is um. Sweet potato? Sweet potato. Oh my God. Potato salad's off the chain. Oh my goodness. And uh... Okay, what's this? Oh, this is a bourbon. I missed the bourbon sauce. <laughs> that means I gotta eat some of your chicken to get the bourbon sauce. You gotta eat some of mine? You got drinks? This is our little picnic date in the truck, huh? A little picnic Have date in the truck. with mom. <laughs> 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 It's about 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, and little bit is fine. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, and I think that's it. And then, oh, you don't have, you can leave the door okay, unlocked. Okay, still going on. It's a gated community. It's pretty secure. Neighbors. Wow, that truck almost went through the light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with a queen. Wow. That poor person minding their business. That truck almost went right through the light. See, that's why you got to be offensive. You got to be in prayer. On our way to the gym. Can you believe it? But we ate that barbecue stuff that you saw Derek brought us. So, <laughs> you know, I ate all kinds of manner of sinfulness. Yeah, I gotta work it off. So to the gym we go. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Why do you have that hat on again? Because marriage too. <laughs> you gonna blame everything on Mary's fatigue. Lock in the, the kitchen cabinet, Mary's fatigue. Eleven o'clock at night. You see who's moving fast and who's moving slow. That's all I got. So yeah, Sai is uh, getting ready for her little dance. There's little D right there. Hello. Okay, go ahead on. Because uh, hey. yeah. just as much as I'm tired, I know she Raise is. on. Okay, there's a floor <laughs> lamp in the um, truck, if you can bring it in when you get Huh? So you gotta get in the, in the driver's seat and start it. Get in the driver's seat. When I say turn it, turn it. There we go. That's my girl. That's my girl. Good job, man. In the dress, in the heels. That's what's up. That's what's up. Good job, man. All right, let's get about this. Fix her food. Right now. Mm. All right, so look, episode yeah, number two. Like big in that. Yeah, there's a few things looking kind of big right now. Mm -hmm. In a good way. <laughs> <laughs>
Man, the dog is eating up the dog one. <laughs> Poor dog, dog ain't got no food, man. They can call animal control on us. <laughs> it's empty. He's like, feed me. Aww. All right, Oliver, we got you covered, man. He's walking on the back. I am going to the store right now. So look, that's how tired we are. We can't even, we can't even make sure the dog got food. <laughs> All right, look, so we got to roll, look. He's eating the dog. We're here, episode bag. number There's two. No dog food, y'all. And we're going to talk about marriage fatigue. We're going to talk about how do you still deal with the stuff in your life mm -hmm. while still staying married and not happily married. And being nice. But being nice. When there's a camera in your face and you really anyway, don't have to have Alright, stay tuned. You're just trying to cook your little salmon. Keep Season you. number two. Episode number two. <laughs> Hi, I'm Derek. And I'm Sonia. Welcome to Can We Talk. Today's episode is a carryover from last week's episode, which was about intentionality. We actually challenged you to do something intentional for your spouse. So how'd you do? I hope someone did well. This episode, we're going to talk about marriage fatigue. Now, I have absolutely no idea why my husband has this hat on. I promise you, I don't know. I'm going to tell you why I had Why he has his hat on looking crazy like we're in a, a snowstorm? <laughs> he won't tell me. Well, I'm going to tell you now. <laughs> fatigue, you know, in the military, fatigue means tired, troubled, out of sync, off base. Things are not how they should be. So I wear the hat because it signifies that I am fatigued. I am troubled, I'm overwhelmed. So I couldn't come in my regular fatigue, so I had to come with how I'm feeling, which is the hat. So that's how I'm feeling, so let's talk about it. Well, as you see, I'm eating, it's a, it's a pumpkin loaf from- You're not fatigued? One of the name brands. And I eat pumpkin loaf when I'm fatigued. Oh, so she gets all glam. I, stop, I don't look crazy. I don't look crazy. Cause I'm not going out like that. <laughs> but this is how you go out. So look, marriage fatigue. You know, you're watching this this vlog. Y'all, the and, pumpkin loaf is so good. And you're watching oh this God. vlog, and I'm sure that someone's watching this and saying, I'm just tired. Mm. Tired and probably your marriage. Tired just physically, tired emotionally. You know, work is tiresome. And it impacts your marriage. And so we called it marriage fatigue because when you get tired, you know, you're working and you're on the grind and you're doing all this stuff, it impacts the marriage. And so we deal with it differently. You know, I eat pumpkin loaf. I want to kill somebody, no. <laughs> he wears a hat. <laughs> but seriously, you know, we've been married 23 years and We've had to work on becoming one. And if you're married, you know that that's a process. It's a lifelong journey. He put all his hands in my pumpkin loaf. All the way. And y'all know I got OCD, but that's okay. So, you know, marriage is a journey in becoming one. And what can be fatiguing is the requirement to esteem the other over ourself. We talked about that last episode. What can be tiring or fatiguing is making sure that we don't offend the other. When we really don't feel like being polite or courteous. F marriage fatigue comes in different ways. How do you cope with your marriage fatigue? Are you rude? Are you disrespectful? Do you shut down? Do you eat pumpkin loaf? Do you wear a hat? Do you work out? Do you cuss? Do you drink? Do you drink? Do you, do you smoke? Do you have affairs? Do you watch porn? I'm a fan. 
you know, let's just cover all that stuff. Because when you get tired in marriage, you do things to cope because you're tired. And no one really says that I'm tired. And some of y'all are married to some real difficult people. Some of you all married some doozies. And you're saying, what in the world? But you married them. Nobody put a gun to your head. Right. And you chose them. And you, and you love them, I'm sure. But sometimes being with difficult people is also tiresome. So this episode, we want to talk about how to get through that time when you're feeling tired, you're having marriage fatigue. I know for me, I try to look my best when I'm tired. You know, uh, not necessarily physically get glammed up, but sometimes I will. Sometimes I will and I'll put on perfume and I'll get dressed and, you know, I'll go out and we could, Derek and I maybe will go to, out together or maybe I'll go out by myself and go sit at Panera Bread and, you know, have a nice modern Greek salad or watch a show that I like or sit on the deck and let the wind, it's, the, it's fall, let the wind blow on my face. All of those things help me cope with um, having marriage fatigue. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel fatigued by Derek a lot. I have to honestly say earlier in the day, I did. Earlier in our marriage, it was hard adjusting to who he was and what he needed. But because he has become such a wonderful husband, and I hate that I have to say that, not that I hate that I have to say that because some people are struggling with their husbands, but I'm proud to say that I have a really wonderful husband. Well, thank he, you. He's come a long way. And so I don't mm -hmm. have a lot of marriage fatigue anymore because he does see about me um, and he does make it about me. And I try to reciprocate that. You but do. there are times where we still get on each other's nerves, right? Because we're different. We're opposites. Yeah. You know, we're different. You know, we do different things and we have different whims and idiosyncrasies. And so sometimes those kind of things, like how he just came and ate my, my pumpkin loaf and he touched all of it. <laughs> like he didn't just take the fork and take a piece. You know, he touched the part that I was going to eat too. And I don't know where his hands have been. So like those are the things that kind of get on my nerves. But you see, I still ate it, right? Y'all, I still ate. The pumpkin loaf even though he touched it so I'm not that OCD that you think I am so do you think I'm going to ask Sonia a question do you think gender has a lot to do with how we have absolutely to because absolutely. I, I think men gender and temperament I, I think for the most part men when we're tired when we're tired honestly we either want to disappear and don't want to be bothered but the reality is that we want to be comforted we want to be held. And, and we don't always know that. Because we don't wives. say it. We don't say it. Right. And, and we don't make it we don't make it inviting. Men we don't we don't make it inviting because, you know, we, we kinda our bark is louder than our bite. Mm -hmm. And so when we're tired for me anyway, when I'm tired, it's, honestly, I, I want Sonia to comfort me when I'm tired. I want to be able to just Unwind, and even if I'm tired in the marriage, I just want to just lay down and and lay down on on those <laughs> those <Precious>. juicy <laughs> dough. <laughs> just what show was it? He said breasts. Breasts. That's that's that was. But that was in living color. <laughs> yeah, the two breasts just lay there like and suck my thumb. You're and, stupid. And you know, but you digressed big I time. Did. So, but, but I think we're, gender, we're tired, y'all. See, and we're, we're tired. Doing, we're doing silly things we're, on our vlog we're tired, today. But, and we did, we did have moments where we acted it out on each other. You know, mm -hmm. we did, we were, we were short, uh, condescending, smart mouth. Um, I have a smart mouth. She has a smart mouth. But Derek, actually, I created a monster because your mouth is just as smart now. It's always been you smart. Used to you know, just, you, you used to get your feelings hurt. And walk away with your tail know. between your legs. I, I and now you just I be... I don't think that... I think I'll... The reason, the reason why I did that, because I wanted to... No, you yeah. didn't handle it that way, though. You used to handle well, it Well, let's refocus. You refocus. hurt my feelings. You used right, to say I'm that. Right, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? You no, know, because you you getting sidetracked here. Well, that was good material. Why are you stopping I, I'm stopping. Oh, baby. I'm stopping. That's wrong. I'm stopping. That's wrong. That was some good. Because you're real. 
That's real. Do you want real talk? You said we're not doing no fake talk. This so, is real talk. So tell me how that made you feel. So, Don't shut down the. This is. We're going to do this vlog. So, well, how do you part of it? You know, we have to. We, we're sharing how we used to right, be and mixing right, it up a right. little bit. Right, right. I know. But that wasn't the best thing because you brought it back. You bring it back. You bring it back now. Right. So I was saying that gender has a lot to do with how we cope with being fatigued. And I think when men are fatigued, when we get disrespected, like you were doing, I felt disrespected when you were saying all that. Mm -hmm. And because I'm so tired, my response would normally be to walk away, right? to withdraw, because the, the, the disrespect would turn into uh, either aggression, mm -hmm. it'll turn into I'm going to or, find or something. Um, well that or I'm going to find something to to get the respect that I need. Mm -hmm. And so that now is a good example of it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's part of us working the hours that we work and doing the things that we're doing mm -hmm. and going through the stuff that we've been going through and all those kind of mm -hmm. things. And so this is a perfect example of how we deal with, because honestly, we are tired. And and we want to put on the on the war gear you want to put on the word gear. Well, I think I think we want to put on. I'm going to say what I said. <laughs> we put on the war gear. Women put on their own war gear differently. They True. they use their mouths like just just like that. That's war gear. <laughs> I put on my war gear. Women put on their war gear and it, gear. And we have to figure out how do we cope when the war gear is on. And I, I you know, and I have to agree with you as gender. It is a gender difference. We will um, emote our fatigue. And uh, our husbands won't. So wives, here's my challenge to you. Can you tell when your husband has marriage fatigue? Is, is he tired of you in terms of how you're acting or responding? Um, is he tired because the marriage is requiring so much work that, you know, he's kind of shutting down or, or becoming aggressive? Can you recognize the marriage fatigue? And if you can recognize it, what are you doing? Are you helping because don't forget that we are the helpmates right the woman the wife is the helpmate so are you helping or are you perpetuating it are you agitating it? are you making it worse so uh i know you have to know your husband to know what that looks like if he's an extrovert more than likely he's going to externalize it and act it out the fatigue that is he might overwork you know um, if he's an introvert, he's going to internalize it. He may stay in front of the TV longer or, you know, stay up longer or, you know, not come home at all or come home late. So you have to kind of figure out how does your husband cope with the marriage fatigue? And, and a lot of times the marriage fatigue is created by conflicts that are reoccurring. They don't right. have an ending. It's the tired. same conflict, different day. And you're like, why are we still having this yeah. conflict? And so you become tired. Right. So but it comes from different things. It comes from having to become one, knowing how to esteem the other, knowing how to understand the temperaments, and, and learning how to resolve conflict. So if you have a reoccurring conflict that you haven't resolved and it keeps happening over and over again, we there's a there's an answer for that okay you got to figure out what is the, what is the need what is the need find the, the, the need you resolve the conflict the, the challenge is wanting to talk about it right i mean to be honest with you most of our clients that we have um that come to us um they don't know how to talk about it because they're so tired i would say this week um us asking the question to our clients, how you doing? Most of them said I'm tired. That's true. Most of them say A either they're, them they're tired that. just by just being tired of the day or just tired of being in marriage fatigue. And, 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 and that's the toughest part about how does a couple communicate that they're tired without saying, well, I'm tired too. And it goes back to what Sonia says about needs. And it goes back to being selfless. It goes back to being having a healthy marriage and how do you get a healthy marriage. And it's a lot of factors um, to address or why people are in marriage fatigue. But 
the question is, how do you get out of it? Mm-hmm. Um, and so what we have done and what we are doing now is we talk about it. We sit and say, I'm tired. We sit and look at the situation and say, okay, uh, what can we do to ease each other's load? And sometimes it's create rules within rules. Sometimes say, you know, the smart mouth got to, you know, chill with the smart mouth. Walking away, that's not going to work because we have to do something to deal with the situation and not take it out on each other. So, um, and that's why I said about gender, men handle things differently. Mm -hmm. You know, we we do. And and most men are not going to see this vlog. Mm. We found that most women watch the vlog. Mm. Uh, We have couples who watch it together, but most men don't don't want to know how to uh, deal with the the stress the the stuff life and then we acted out on our wives and so we can't even see them because spiritually we're supposed to see things from a spiritual perspective we're tired and I don't feel like talking and we're not seeing anything spiritually so so if you know that your husband may not watch this you can always share it and send it to his phone and he may watch it on the way home from work he may watch it on the toilet or in the, in the bedroom after he gets um, ready for work, he may watch it. But, you know, we want the husbands or the men that watch this to know that it's not healthy to keep it in. You know, it's not healthy to say, it's not healthy not to say you're tired because you're going to, it goes somewhere. It's like energy is never lost or destroyed. So it goes somewhere. That fatigue is going somewhere. Where, where is it going? Most of the time it's not productive. It's not healthy. So um, a lot of the times as women, it is a gender thing. We will talk to our girlfriends about it. We will cry. We will write in our journals. You know, we'll share it. We'll talk to our husbands about it. Get on social media and mm. and just start to just... Well, I don't recommend you put it on social media, but we do see a lot of that. We see a lot of um, subtle... Is that you hitting that? That's me. Kicking that thing? Why are you kicking that thing? Come up on the sound. Marriage fatigue. Keep on talking, girl. I'm tired. Please, please don't put it on social media, okay? You know, we see a lot of, like, subtle innuendos, jabs at spouses, and, you know, don't do that. That's not cool. You know, we'll help you. Call the marriage mentors. We'll help you. Promise. So, um, we, I think we've covered what we really wanted to talk about, the high points of marriage fatigue. Um, so, your challenge this week. Identify how you behave when you are maritally tired. And it doesn't mean you have a bad marriage if you're maritally tired. You may need a girl's trip. I've been on two this year. (laughs) Got one more coming up. (laughs) You may need a girl's trip, right? You're around a little bit more estrogen. And trust me, after the girl's trip, you're going to want to come back home. Because being around your girls after too long, you're going to want some testosterone. You know what I'm talking about. So that's one way. But wrong with you, that's man. your challenge. That you. is your challenge this week. How are you going to handle your marriage fatigue? You know you be missing me when I'm gone. It's a good recipe for marriage fatigue. I tell you, if I got on his nerves, I don't get on him when I get off that plane. Something's wrong with you. Oh, man. Just so, saying. Just saying. So, close this thing out, baby. Marriage fatigue is, is okay. It's normal. It's typical. Mm-hmm. It happens. Right. But the danger is not doing anything about it or it's not being aware. aware. And it's, it's destructive. destructive. Right. So, check, your, check to see if you are. Check your spouse to see if he or she is. And now that you know what, what you're going to do it. with it. So thank you for watching. We hope that you are uh, inspired by something we shared and that you'll assess whether you have some marriage fatigue and that you'll do something about it and tell us about it. We want to hear about it. We want to hear how it went. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Get some rest. (laughs) Take a break because I'm going to do that right now. (laughs) Peace. See ya. (laughs) 